for our Sunday school such to be start this morning. Yes. Uh, we had a grand good time. Um, love, love, I love Bible study. Amen. Different format in worship. I uh, get a chance to really participate and ask questions and also uh, make, make comments. So I encourage you to come be part of our Sunday school class. Yes. Uh, before we pray, then as you look around, see who's not here, let's pray for Sister Judy, uh, for Sister Esther. Good to see Sister Diane here. Good to see Sister King here. Uh, let's pray for all of those who are sick. Good to see Brother Payton here as well. Good to see Sister Rosa. Good to see Sister yeah, Sister. Yeah. And she still recovers. Uh, if anybody on the message, just put them uh, on your tongue as well. Uh, and as you remember to also support the prison ministry, good to see Brother Kenneth and Brother Pastor as he's related to here to Cotton Point. They have a baptism this morning. Amen. 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 They also Amen. have a challenge Amen. which they have to deal with on this morning. I had a chance to see Brother Kenneth earlier uh, in the week, and he was telling me how someone came to their Bible study to challenge them. Amen. And uh, they're ready to go have the challenge. This morning. Amen. I want y'all to know in prison, there are a lot of guys who think they go to work. Yeah, amen. So don't think that when yeah. Brother Kennedy is going to ask representative of the Church of Christ, there are not people who confront them. There are, there are, there are those who confront them about yes, the Bible. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, just know the truth. Yeah. You know the truth, you ain't got to worry about anything else. And the Bible says for the truth. Yeah. Yeah. And so you ain't got to argue. All you got to do is point to Scripture. Yeah. And brother, brother Pastor just told me, he said, you read, that's all we're going to do. They will say this, we will say, read that. Amen. Yeah, that's all you got to do. So we pray for them on today. There have been 12 people uh, that have been added to the body of Christ. Now, here's what I need y'all to understand that you're missing. Those 12 guys are members of this congregation. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Yes. I hope y'all understand that. That's, yes. that's the members of the congregation because even though we need to get out there and go to various places, <coughs> Uh, they're baptized 12. Uh, it is April. So that's a good number to baptize. Amen. Yeah. 12. So the prison ministry is working. Amen. And we're just going to ask God to continue to bless it and continue to bless all of us as we support it. Remember the first Sunday of the month is the Sunday we support the prison ministry. So remember, every first Sunday of the month is the Sunday we support the prison ministry. So please be aware of that. And all you got to do is do like some do. Put it in the general uh, election fund uh, envelope or put how much it goes towards the prison ministry because we got a building fund envelope itself. So continue to support the prison uh, ministry to support our building fund. Uh, I didn't calculate the number. Uh, we know it's more than 4,000. Uh, maybe I don't know how much over 4,000, but I will be putting that on the board next week. I look at some I forgot, I forgot to do that. Uh, at this time, before we uh, get off the scene for the day, uh, anyone need confessive sins? Anyone need prayers? <coughs> anyone have any good announcements, good remarks? Uh, they can be made with this time. Is there anyone? Hello, uh, brothers and sisters. I want to, uh, first of all, thank all the sisters who came out for the class yesterday. We had an awesome time. Um, I want to encourage all the sisters who can to be with us on the first and third Saturdays of every month. Um, I also want to uh, ask y'all to remember us. We are traveling to Memphis on th Thursday, so Peyton could have his surgery of the 10th. Um, so uh, hopefully, um, everything, prayerfully, everything will go well and we'll be home. Um, on the next Thursday. Um, I'll touch y'all to pray for June. He's traveling. Um, he went to a men's retreat in Mississippi. They'll be traveling back today. So just pray for traveling great right for him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I'm having a trip to the regular shore and before we get back home, at first from Elizabeth, she's gone through a, a whole lot with her. Yes. So pray for her that God will keep us home. Amen. 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 I want to thank the Fed for praying for me. I had my surgical procedure and all went very well. Amen. 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 Amen.
eight years ago on Tumor, right down the street. And uh, she passed away, I believe, on Tuesday. My master prayers um, for the Sam family. Also, prayer for um, my aunt, who was in Dr. Day. She had fallen, went to the doctor on Friday, and they didn't take any x rays or anything, but the shot they gave her didn't work and had to go back. So they had to take her to the hospital and they took x rays. So she has a really bad bruised ribs. Mm -hmm. And she's on the address right now. So that's the prayers of the Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to thank everybody for all the prayers. Yes. You see, it worked. Yes. 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 I'm really glad to be back and mm -hmm. back at it. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, and I love being part of this family. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. I want to thank everyone for continuing to pray for me and my family. I did have a birthday on this past week. Yes. Yeah.
1997, and then after that we'll have a prayer.
these prayers that we pray. We yeah. pray in your Son, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the church of Galatia, even so to be, upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by his explore, as I have prospered him, that there be no guidance when I come. Let us pray. Hey God, Jackson, we thank you for the money that we are about to receive here, Lord. As you can provide in your own here, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
just say something about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get in bed with it. Yeah. I advise you not to get in bed with it. Church. 
You and I are but members. Without Christ, you and I would be nothing. Somebody said in discussing the word Christian, you take the Christ out of Christian. You got I-A-N. Somebody said that means I ain't nothing. Now I know ain't is not a correct word to understand, but I say it. Yes. And I said ain't. Amen. Amen. And so I want you to know that I realize uh, uh, I live under the fact that Christ is the center of it all. And if we ever miss that, amen. amen. Our purpose for being in existence, amen will be negated, and not only negated, but it'll be of no, no effect. We are nothing without Christ. Right. So today I want to preach from John chapter 13. I use John chapter 13 because, believe it or not, this, 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 this text deals with probably the week, well, I, I shouldn't say the week, the day before Jesus is about to go to the cross. Yes. It's the last Passover that Jesus has to meet with his disciples, those 12 men. Those 12 men he had poured his life into. Somebody said, Brother Harold, will you give us a le lesson title? Mm -hmm. I will just so you can have a title. Mm -hmm. But I pray you don't let the title, amen, make you miss the message. Now the title is The Power of a Tower. The Power of a Tower. It's T-O-W-E-L. I spell it because I might not be pronouncing it correctly. And I want you to know what I'm talking about on this morning. John, the chapter is 13. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, <clears throat> that he should depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. Mm. And supper ended, being ended, the devil having already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, rose up from supper and <coughs> laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a person and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel which he had which he was girded. Then he came to Simon, Peter. And Peter said to him, Lord, are you washing my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, what I am doing, what I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will know after this. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus replied, answered him, if I do not wash you, wash you, you have no part with me. Mm -hmm. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my feet. We need to follow you for word of prayer. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for this text of scripture. We in which we we plan to expound before the ears and the hearts of your people. We pray that the ears and the hearts of your people be open to the hearing of this word that it'll do us was intended, and that is to show us more of who your son is, the purpose for his existence and the purpose for his coming, and also the purpose he serves in our life. We ask that we open up our hearts and ears to hear and receive this. But more than that, we pray for application of your word in the lives of your children. Help us understand the written word is only as powerful as we live it in our lives. 
So help us to live it. Help us to be it. Help us to do it. We pray that this lesson will fall on the hearts and the ears of all those who are present, whether in person or by teleconference. Help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This story of Jesus is told again in Luke chapter 22. In the book of Luke, Luke does not include the washing of the disciples' feet. But yet Luke's gospel is more detailed because Luke deals more with events. But the gospel of John deals more with people. If you ever read the gospel of John, you'll, understand, you'll see God, John's gospel different than anybody else's gospel because other gospels point to the Jesus of events. So I said, what do you mean, Brother Al? Well, if you go to John's gospel in John chapter 2, Jesus is at a wedding feast. Are you listening to me? Yes. If you go to other gospels, the gospel may mention the wedding feast. But then when you go to John's gospel, John's gospel again to talk about what's going on at the wedding feast. In chapter 4 of John, amen, John deals with the woman at the well. In John chapter 8, he deals with the woman who's caught in the very act of adultery. John's gospel always pictures Jesus as a Jesus of the people. Listen to me on this morning. Everything a Christian is. Everything a Christian says, everything a Christian does, everything a Christian thinks should be, should be, should be characterized by what Jesus would do. Are you listening to me? We are, we are, we are, you and I are. We are to exemplify an example of our lives. What Jesus taught. What Jesus did. And I guess what I'm saying is, every child of God needs to be an example of who Jesus was. In your thoughts, in your actions, in your words. And if you're not being who Jesus was, was we need to stop wearing the name Christian. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And so I began to search for a scripture. And here's why I search for the scripture. I search for the scripture. Our theme for this year is the year of seeking to serve. Did y'all read it back? Yes. Our theme was sent us out with what I call our marching commands. Now let me let you know something. You know the song we sing? I'm a hard fighting soldier. But well, let me ask you a question. Do you know whose side you're on? Amen. Amen. You're on the Lord's side. And if you are a hard fighting soldier, like you say you are. We have some charges or some commands. Amen. And one of the things we need to be doing is seeking to serve. Because our commander and chief serve. And the greatest example of his service is found in John chapter 13. Somebody say, why do you use John chapter 13? And why don't you not use parts of Luke chapter 22? Because this morning, I want to make this lesson everything about Jesus. I read John chapter 13 many times. Am I the only one? Have you not read it? 
But here's one thing I didn't do, even when I preached it before. I didn't tell you the background and the content of what was written. Now let me give it to you now. Jesus writes, watch this. This occurred. John writes this particular event in the life of Christ. 24 hours before he was on the down cross. Now, 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 now. I, I, I don't think y'all heard I seen it. Jesus knew he was about to go to the cross. He knew they were about to spit on him. He knew they were about to beat him. He knew they were about to hang him high on a cross. He knew he was about to suffer the greatest agony a man could suffer. So who does he get together? Those 12 men. Those 12 men. Amen. Amen. He entered himself into it. Let me ask you a question. Is anybody in this audience trying to enter yourself into somebody before you leave here? Amen, somebody. Amen. So y'all remember what I just said. You do remember again? Let me understand what I'm saying. Are you trying to make sure that all the knowledge God has given you, all the things you've experienced, are you trying to teach that to somebody else who's traveling down this same road you're traveling so they will make the same mistakes? Amen. 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 Every last one of us should be doing what I call passing it forward. Amen. One of the greatest reasons I love. Let me tell y'all a true story. When I played football in high school, that's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I tell y'all that because look, y'all look at my body, y'all like, you play football? <laughs> and, you, and then you'd be surprised who I was. I was a, I, I was a safety cornerback. <laughs> my job was to make sure that the wide receiver team can catch the ball and score a touchdown. Part of my job was having a little speed. I, I was kind of fast. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't forget, because his mother, if you were a cornerback or a safety wide receiver, you had a certain coach that, that, that trained you on the football team. Right. He was also the track coach. Mm. So the track coach came to me one day, Casey, and he said, Harold! That's how he talked. Coach Limber, I'll never forget his name, Carl Limber. Little old short man. Skin. He was a track star. He said, now Harold, you know all my wide receivers, my safeties, my quarterbacks, they got to run track. I said, yeah, Coach, I know. He said, Harold, I want you to run track. I said, okay, Coach. What you want me to run? Cross country. Well, at least the monkey got on my back. 
Lay it aside and it's gone. So matter what, you, what, what are you going to do, Jesus? Well, Harold, I know the cross within 24 hours. What do I want these men to know before I die? Watch what he does. The Bible says he takes a towel as he takes off his garment. Now, now, y'all missing a whole lot of stuff in this text that I'm going to show to you. Jewish custom was whenever I enter into your house by invitation, what you, the first thing you did was find a servant to wash my feet. Mm -hmm. Now see, y'all can understand that today. Mm -hmm. But washing feet was a custom they practice in showing hospitality. Because unlike today, we wear shoes with socks and all kind of stuff. We wear shoes that are covered back then, they wore sandals. They had no paved roads. All dirt roads. So as a courtesy, before you walk to someone's house, they wash your feet. They wash your feet. Mm -hmm. Ain't gonna happen. Amen. <laughs> you happy about what I'm saying? They wash your feet. And you felt welcome because you knew when I entered in that house, I didn't give me the courtesy of washing my feet. Now, in this text, you will see feet washing had not taken place. Are you, are you with me? Jesus understands what's going on and he waited for a moment just like this. Let me let you know something. God is a moment God. And here's what I mean. Sometimes we miss moments that God has given us to do some great things. And the reason we miss moments because we make the moments all about us. And not about the moment that's at hand. How many times you had moments do something good or say something good? And you miss the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Don't miss your moment because if you miss your moment, that moment don't come back again. Yeah. One day I met, I told you about a friend, I had a friend named Doug go there. With me in, 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 in Jittery. Oh, Doug yeah. ended up killing himself yeah. on, a, on, on a train track. Oh, he kept his car on the train track and let the train kill him. Oh, my I met him after not seeing him for years. And I told myself at that moment, I'm going to take down his phone number and call him and keep in touch. And guess what? I didn't do it. Yeah. I missed that moment. I remember telling my wife, once I found him, I'm like, man, I not only saw him, but I told myself what I was going to do. How many moments have you missed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. Listen, if you can get out of this world and die and not die of regrets no. of moments you missed, you said, thank you, Lord. I missed a few moments. But God gives us moments. Yes, yes, yes. You know, we do those moments, we just, we just, we just let them slide. We just let them go. We forget about it. Hey, you know, every once in a while, I'm supposed to my phone, other for stories. Struggle a homeless gentleman I read, and it broke my heart. Man, that broke my heart, but it made me cry. That was a, Homeless black man. Man, I, I, this is part of the story. And later decided to take a moment and drop some money into his cup. This story made national news. In dropping money into his cup, she dropped her wedding ring in that cup. Now it's a watch this. The woman in a panic started looking for a ring, couldn't find a ring. Now this is a homeless man. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a house. Didn't have food to eat. But something told him, mm -hmm. let me hold on to the ring. The woman just thought to herself, I'll never find that ring. Mm -hmm. True story. Mm -hmm. She said, maybe I dropped that ring in that beggar's cup. That homeless man cup. Found out the ring. Now let me tell you what the man did. The man actually went to the pawn shop and found out how much the ring was worth. Oh, Jesus. 
Four thousand dollars. That's a good. That's a good lick for a homeless man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, four thousand dollars. And brother Ken, he went to the porn shop to find out how much it was. Mm -hmm. So he knew how much it was. <coughs> As he tells the story, he said, "But something in my heart told me to hold on to the ring." Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. So he held on to the ring. Mm. Now you know how. Holy people are. You find them on that corner one day, you find them on another corner another day. Yeah. You find them on that corner another day. Mm -hmm. That man said, I came into that corner hoping that that lady would come back. Uh -huh. Lady, the lady, the lady said, maybe I dropped that in his cup, so I'm going to go looking for him. And she went back to that same corner. Mm -hmm. She found him. She knew what to expect as she walked up to him. She said, sir, did I happen to leave a ring in your cup? Mm -hmm. He reached in that cup mm -hmm. wow. and gave her that ring. Mm -hmm. yes. wow. Started a GoFundMe page mm -hmm. for it. Tried to raise $1,000. Mm. Just to get him a place to stay mm -hmm. for a few nights and something to eat. Mm -hmm. They ended up raising $190,000. Oh, Amen. Amen. No. You know why? In a moment. Yes. In one moment, somebody did those right. Wow. In a moment. Yes. It took him oh, wow. off the streets. Yes. Yes. He got an investor and invested his money. And today, he got a house and a car. Because mm -hmm. he took advantage of a moment. Amen. Yes. You missed a moment. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. And God knows where you would have been, where you would have been, right. if you would have taken advantage of that moment. That's right. Well, I remember Sister Simon, God bless her. So Simon, why you give it? Why, why would somebody beg you give to him? She said, because Harold one day may be my child. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. That's <laughs> that may need yes. a drop in the cup. Yes. Now I said, because sometimes here's how we all. We all say they don't drug. That's all they're going to do is put drugs. You don't know that. That's right. That's right. Don't put yourself in that judgment seat. And then, let me tell you something. Sometimes we don't want to go there to survive. So I said, what do you mean? What if they say, all I want is something to eat? Mm. And to me, if they buy McDonald's, mm. surely you can go and say, hey man, what you want? That's right. Amen. I'm going to go get it for you. Amen. We miss moments. Mm. So my question to you is, <laughs> when moments come, because let me tell you something, there's going to come a time, look, look. Here's, here's, here's why this story is so beautiful to me now than it was yesterday when I read it. At the moment Jesus saw and knew this is it. In 24 hours, I'm going to be dead on the cross. What's the last thing I want these men to remember? Here's what he does. He takes off his gun. Oh, he lays it to the side. He takes a towel and he girds himself. Mm. He takes a water basin. Mm. He did to them what the host forgot to do. Why the host forgot to do it, I don't know. He says, I'm about to serve you. He gets down. Mm. He goes all twelve. He begins to wash their stinky, dirty, nasty feet. Peter, look it. And Peter said, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Well, Peter, you see what I 
I'm doing, I'm watching TV. Don't we sometimes ask them questions? Yeah. 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 Amen. If you see watching TV, I'm coming to you. What I'm coming to do? I'm coming to watch your feet. Amen. And some of us think we small. <laughs> you gonna watch my feet? Peter, I can watch your feet. You ain't got no part with me. Peter woke up quick. <laughs> he got smart quick too. Amen. Peter said, Lord, be washing my feet. <laughs> but make you me, me and you partners. Guess what? I got most of you to wash it. And now, you're about to die. Why are you washing feet? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to die. <laughs> I'm getting ready to die. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you the last person I'm probably thinking about? Mm -hmm. Is you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about to die. But ladies, you're about to die. I'm thinking about me. Only me. You ain't dying. The Bible says he loved him. Yes. And for three years, he had entered himself in, put himself into them. He didn't just talk to them, he showed them. Christians talk too much. And we don't show nothing. I'm a Christian. But that's what you say. Become something we say that, mm -hmm. and not something we do. Right. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why I know God will give us that place we try to get. Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling God, God, I'm not trying to get it so we can show off. That's right. I'm trying to get it so we can do some stuff. Amen. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. Man, I tell people all the time. Look, I don't believe in church to just get together and build, build great buildings. We didn't make sure some things are going on in those buildings. Yes. That's right. So I, I need y'all to pray for what I'm praying. Yes. God opened doors so we can do more. Amen. Yes. I did not, I, look, look, when I sat down and I said, God, give us a theme. I, look, look, I, I can't be kept consideration because I want to make sure everybody comes with the same theme like me. That, that it is. The year of seeking to serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find ways to serve. Yes. And the last thing Jesus did before he died was guess what? Sir. Serve. Yes. yes. And look how he did it. Wash your feet. Mm -hmm. Now he could have did like a lot of people did. Okay, uh, host, 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 yeah. host. Give me a host. I'm not getting it. You forgot to wash, to wash our feet. <laughs> you are bad hopes. <laughs> Do we really want Jesus to put out our faults and flaws? No, I don't. You know why I love support of Moses' wife? <coughs> Moses was busy doing God's work, or so he thought. Right. And forgot to circumcise his son, yes, who was yes. also his job. Yes, right. yes. Can I tell you, God don't expect you not to do one job because you do another. Amen. God wants to do all of them. Amen. 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 Not, 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 not again. Because I've seen some things in this state and in other people's lives that have bothered me. And, somebody, let, and let me be messy. Can I be messy? <laughs> I've seen mothers and fathers put their whole attention on their children. And then start neglecting husband mm -hmm. or wife. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. And I always thought it was backwards. Mm -hmm. And this is why I know it's backwards. Mm -hmm. Your children are there for a while. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. That's right. So God expects you to help them along the way. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Listen to me, y'all. That's right. Amen. 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 They are not before your spouse. That's not scriptural. That's right. 
the most important relationship. It's other than wife. Yes. It's from that relationship that children came. Yes. yes. You push them on. Because Judas was there. Yeah, that's 
right. And guess what? Now, now y'all know how some of us are. That'd be us. Y'all know that. That you know how much you feel. <laughs> Me and you don't see things like that. <laughs> so.
Well, you had me foot. You didn't have a job. Right? Yeah. Well, it got old, but it didn't count as me. Jesus. 